Hello, beautiful beings of this planet Earth. I'm Christina Kotori, and I was called to pop in here today and talk a bit about sacred erotic innocence. So, what is sacred erotic innocence? It's um, most of the people when they hear that they um, immediately imagine or visualize God Eros with his arrow, uh, Cupid, you know, uh, going for people's hearts. And um, it's, it's, we have a, affiliated Eros with this energy towards another, like that is directed because Eros has the, the arrow, right? So there is this energy that is directed towards another. But I want you I want to take you somewhere else. And I want to take you back in those days. Maybe it was a long time ago, maybe not. That you were a child and that you um, had the freedom to be naked, to go around, to um, touch yourself because there was not yet any program in your mind that, you know, like, this is not right, um, you shouldn't do that. So whatever was coming naturally to you, you were doing it, you know, like you were expressing all of your emotions, you were crying, um, you were sad, you were happy, you were joyful, and whatever you did was in... Um, total truth like you're, you're you were in your authentic expression and you didn't um really understand the rules of the society because you were still in your innate you were still connected with your innate with this um essence of yours divine essence that you were born with you were still innocent you were still connected with this innocence and this is an erotic state because many times um, we just are mesmerized by watching children because they are in this state of innocence and in so much in the presence and it's 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 a state of eros right it does it's not directed to anyone but there it's it's a state of eros because you when you watch a child you again come back in this uh, state when you were in love with life, because children are in love with life. So going back into your sacred erotic innocence is actually connecting with this invigorating feeling, with this ecstatic bliss, with this enthusiasm of um, enjoying life into the present moment without any blocking, without any conditioning. And that brings you back into this, like your birthright, which is like ecstatic bliss, which is, um, uh, you know, like um, being able to experience everything and then let it go. This is sacred erotic innocence is the enthusiasm, the allowance of the divine to flow within you. I hope you have a beautiful day and I will be here for whoever wants to have any questions about sacred erotic innocence. I will be doing more videos um, and uh, talking more about this subject that I'm so passionate about and I know Many of you have been experienced this guilt when growing up, the shame, and you know, it's time to shed this all and to just come back to our true selves. I send you much love wherever you are and have a beautiful day.